On the day of my first communion, I got one of those scrapbooks to be signed by everyone who wanted to congratulate me for having taken the step of accepting God in my heart. I wanted my grandma, Mama Panchita, to be the first to sign in. But my parents told me, no, not her. She didn't go to school. She barely knows how to write. I said, it's not true. She had taught me the letters, numbers, colors, and told me great stories. I loved the ones about her village, especially about the Lord of Murguay, an image of Christ that appeared in a big stone to heal the people from a pest. I went to her and I saw her hand tremble as she grabbed the pen. I asked her, Grandmama, did you go to school? She said yes but not as much as you. None of the farming families in the Peruvian Andes thought it was necessary for girls. After they learned how to read, write, and understand the basics of arithmetic, they were sent to take care of their siblings, to cook and clean. Then she told me, your grandpapa Ramon always said, the place of a woman is in her home, but I wonder if I could have been a teacher, a nurse, or even a doctor, if I had been allowed to study. Now Mama Panchita is 95, and she is losing her hearing and sight. Even though she is admired as a great housewife and mom, to this day, she doesn't know she is also a wonderful storyteller. But Mama Panchita, I want you to know that I am a writer because of you.